In the trauma setting and in patients who have a ductus diverticulum, radiologists sometimes find it difficult to work out whether it's a pseudoaneurysm or a ductus diverticulum. At the end of this video, you should be more confident at making that distinction. This patient was a victim of a road traffic accident, and you can see clearly that there is a pseudoaneurysm arising from the undersurface of the aortic arch. Note also the severe mediastinal hematoma and the associated thoracic spine fracture. There's no doubt in this case that this is a pseudoaneurysm. In this patient, they have a pseudoaneurysm and you can see that the pseudoaneurysm is arising from the inferior aspect of the aortic arch. Note also the mediastinal hematoma. This patient, on the other hand, has a ductus diverticulum. Unlike a pseudoaneurysm, this has an obtuse angle with the wall of the aorta and is more anteriorly placed than a pseudoaneurysm. So here are the differences between the two. The acute angle of the pseudoaneurysm and its position in the inferior aspect of the aorta at the isthmus, round about here, distinguishes it from the ductus diverticulum, which produces a, an obtuse angle and is more anteriorly placed. So in summary, in a traumatic pseudoaneurysm, the bump or the aneurysm is situated more inferiorly than a ductus diverticulum. It produces an acute angle with the wall and is usually not calcified. And this is because an acute pseudoaneurysm will probably not be calcified unless the aorta itself is calcified. You see other features such as an intimal flap, mediastinal hematoma and other injuries such as rib fractures, sternal fractures, thoracic spine fractures. In a ductus diverticulum on the other hand, it's more anteromedial in position. You get an obtuse angle with the wall. It may be calcified because of course the patient may have a calcified aorta which then becomes calcified around the diverticulum and you get absence of other additional injuries such as mediastinal hematoma associated fractures. So this is the main difference between a pseudoaneurysm and a ductus diverticulum.